Our President Biden and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu spoke for the first time in a month. The leaders discussed two key areas where tensions are growing, the necessity of getting more humanitarian aid into Gaza and the impending Israeli operation into Rafah. The president's national security adviser addressed the call in his briefing. Our position is that Hamas should not be allowed a safe haven in Rafah or anywhere else. But a major ground operation there would be a mistake. It would lead to more innocent civilian deaths, worsen the already dire humanitarian crisis, deepen the anarchy in Gaza, and further isolate Israel internationally. Now, the phone call comes days after Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, the highest ranking Jewish American in the U.S. government, called for new elections in Israel, saying the Israeli prime minister was a major obstacle to peace. Netanyahu responded during a network interview. I think what he said is totally inappropriate. Uh, it's inappropriate for uh, uh, to go to a sister democracy and try to replace the elected leadership there. That's something that Israel, the Israeli public does on its own, and we're not a banana republic. I think the only government in and for more, let's bring in a spokesman for the Israeli government, David Menzer. Sir, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it. Um, the prime minister said the majority of Israelis support his policies. Um, however, a report from the director of national intelligence said, quote, distrust of Netanyahu's ability to rule has deepened and broadened across the public from its already high levels before the war. And we expect large protests demanding his resignation and new elections. Um, and according to a poll published by Channel 12, 64 percent of Israelis support early elections. Um, what say you about this and your reaction? Uh, do you think the prime minister will commit to early elections? Well, uh, I'll tell you, Tracy, I'm here on the ground. And what I see around me here in Israel is unity, unity for the government's objectives of really ridding this whole area, this whole region of Hamas. Secondly, of course, and concurrently, uh, returning our hostages. And thirdly, making sure that Hamas never again uh, put, okay, is a problem to the people of Israel. Uh, ever again. So I would say the reality on the ground is there is unity on these war aims, and that is the most important thing you should focus on. And of course, we know what Netanyahu said about Senator Schumer's comments. Um, has there been any reaction from Israelis to that? Well, uh, to be frank, a lot of us are a little bit surprised. Israel is, of course, uh, a sovereign nation uh, with rules and laws. Uh, and uh, we, the people of Israel, will decide when there are elections. So, of course, there will be uh, elections in, at the right time, in due course. Uh, but it's not for anyone else outside of this country to interfere in is internal uh, Israeli politics. Uh, David, I, I want to talk about something else now. Uh, European Union's foreign policy chief, Joseph Borrell, uh, he recently made comments regarding Israel's humanitarian aid into Gaza. Let's listen to his statement, and then I want your comments on the back end. Israel is provoking famine. Oh, how do you say that? What evidence do you have? Come on, what evidence do I have? Hundreds of trucks are waiting to enter. This is unacceptable. Starvation is used as a weapon of war. Yes, starvation is used as a weapon of war. Oh, David, your reaction to that? Well, that is a, a dreadful slur, and it doesn't simply uh, bear any relation to the facts on the ground. Before this war, there were about 70 food trucks, food trucks alone, uh, going into Gaza. Just today, there were 239, an average of about 200 every day. Uh, hundreds and thousands of tons of humanitarian aid have gone into Gaza. And David, another thing I want to touch on um, is the raid on Al-Shifa Hospital uh, in central Gaza. What can you tell us about that? Well, I can tell you that uh, my latest information is that the raid is ongoing. We know that today we've arrested around, uh, uh, we've apprehended around uh, 80 people. We've killed around 20 terrorists, the most notable of whom is Faik uh, Mubkhash, uh, who is um, uh, the internal security commander of Hamas. And David, uh, speaking of peace, uh, um, I understand there are talks that are happening uh, right now in Doha. What can you tell us about that? 
Well, I can tell you that a uh, very, very uh, short time ago, the Prime Minister convened a meeting with the Israeli negotiators, instructing them on um, uh, our war aims, which are, of course, to release the hostages. And we're going to leave it right there. David Menzer, thank you so much, sir, for joining us today. We really appreciate You're it. You're welcome.